All right, everybody. Let's get started with the para jumble advanced lecture. Today we're gonna discuss the main agenda that we have is to crack these questions right from ZAT, CAT, uh, and the IFT, the like premier exams. Uh, we we try we're gonna try and crack these questions in maximum by fifty five to sixty seconds. That's the main target. All right. So let's and these are all the actual question papers and the uh, actual questions from the exams itself. And uh, it's the CAT King advanced level that we teach in the classroom. So all right. So the first question for the day, which is from ZAT twenty twelve, uh, <clears throat> I'll just put the uh, alphabets in here. So this is A, this is B, C, D, and E. Uh, the earlier A B C D is actually uh, hidden uh, in the PPT. Anyway, so this is the question for you guys. I give you guys some time. Go ahead, try to knock it off. Okay, <clears throat> now let's try and do this. Um, if I look at the question, yeah, uh, so I see that uh, the question is talking about some macro factors and some micro factors. Uh, this has been mentioned here, okay. So uh, this is talking about some <clears throat> macro factors in here and then um, a little bit of micro factors, so and so forth. Now let's look at your options very quickly. <clears throat> look at the first option. Some of these, <clears throat> these is basically a demonstrative pronoun, okay. So we're not gonna use this pronoun because some of these it means, as I said earlier in my, uh, in my one of the video that <clears throat> when you have it, okay, it's a referencing pronoun. So it's talking about something. In the same manner, these is definitely talking about something, and that's the reason A cannot be the opening. So when the A is not the opening, option number three is gone. <clears throat> okay. Now let's look at the D. Uh, the macro factors. Yes, I have something starting with D. I'm gonna keep that on hold. But then E is like option number one, option number two, option number five. E is something, <clears throat> excuse me, e is, it seems to be an opening sentence. So I, I, I kind of go with it. So in the scenario wherein I have the options, I say that, okay, E is the option. So E is the first thing. Now, when I say E, what's happening here is that E is talking about influencing forecasting factors. All these factors. Now, these are like social technological. If I move on upward, I would see that. After E, there is something called as some of these are tangible while others are not. So what I'm trying to do, this I'm trying to be general and now I'm getting into specific that I'm doing a bifurcation, the tangible and non-tangible. So after E, I have a link which is EA. Now let's look at the option. So A is your answer. Yeah, so A, A becomes your answer. Uh, the option number one becomes your answer because you have the link EA, right? Now... That's how you crack these questions like within like like 30 to 40 seconds. Now, say for example, you don't have options given in here and you literally have to type in. Now, what kind of theory you would use? First of all, look at this, the micro factors and the macro factors. Now, when I'm talking about these two things out here, the micro and the macro, they're like specific examples. And do I have any option that's starting with B? No, I don't have any option. So B cannot be considered here. Another way to classify these factors, again, these factors. So this cannot, again, be the opening. And again, I don't have any option that's starting with C as an opening. So C cannot be the opener by, by default. Yeah. So, so my sequence becomes E. Okay. So I have E. Like, I'm talking about where the options are not given to you. You will have to type in, um, in, in the exam. So E is my opening sentence. Okay. <clears throat> Understood. They're talking about the factors. Then we move on to A1, that some of these are tangible and others are not. So I got a link, which is called as A. Okay. Now, look at the option C. Another way to classify. Now, what's happening here is, I am talking about this. Now, <clears throat> you may have a doubt that, sir, some of these are tangible and then they are not not tangible means intangible and then why can't I go ahead with micro and macro because that's what the question is talking about but not if you look at this in a very deep manner look at this tangible while others are not what are they trying to do here they're classifying they're actually giving two types and that's the reason from B I will move on to C that that says another way to classify these factors is to distinguish <clears throat> so and so forth and that's the reason my option would become EA then I have C, okay? And then there is a crux, either you have it D or earlier and then B and so on and so forth. So that's that's a little bit crux that you have that you're gonna talk about. But then I would <clears throat> I would go ahead with a macro first 
बिकॉज इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड लिटिल बिट ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स है मैक्रो मीन्स ऑन अ वेरी हाई लेवल माइक्रो मीन्स ऑन अ वेरी माइन्यूट लेवल एंड दैट रीजन आई वुड टेक डी फर्स्ट एंड देन आई वुड टॉक अबाउट बी सो वट एम ट्राइंग टू डू इज आई एम मूविंग ऑन फ्रॉम जनरल टू स्पेसिफिक सो दैट कैन बी दी फंडामेंटल अंडरस्टैंडिंग और दैट कैन बी वन ऑफ द अप्रोच to go ahead and crack this zat 2012 questions mind you guys zat being a very tough exam um, as far as the verbal is concerned given the options here uh, you know it's very easy to crack this question within 10 seconds and uh, i just i just proved that to you that you know e a c d b can be the answer and you can kind of you know link this within 10 to 20 seconds if you are a good reader now let's move on so what lovely so we got cat 99 all right let's take some time to read through and let's go ahead and crack it okay now if you remember <clears throat> if you have seen my earlier uh, video on the para symbol i have already made a mention that you know this is the typical way that the cat will ask you a question wherein you have the first and the last sentence as fixed one the stagnant one the static one so here what we have we got this one fixed and we got this one fixed okay and we have to actually apply the para symbol between these sorry between a b c and the d1 okay now how shall we go ahead with this now look at what's happening here this is one of the important rather one of the easiest question that you would come across making people laugh is tricky this is the opening of my paragraph okay <clears throat> this is the opening of my paragraph now what's happening here at times the intended humor may simply not come off okay the b1 talks about you're making people laugh while trying okay c talks about there are many advertisement d again it is rarely sufficient that you know advertiser simply advertisement okay these go both of them go hand in hand now if you look at i have just opened a paragraph and i'm talking about making people laugh is tricky so what i'm going to do is my next sentence would be on this if you remember what i've told you the the opening sentence is always going to be something which is attached to the main subject the main subject here is making people laugh making people happy now that's the reason b becomes my opening sentence the moment b becomes my opening sentence because that's the entire paragraph is talking about that's the main idea i mentioned this in my last video so what goes away d is cancelled a is cancelled c is cancelled so what is the option that i left with it's b a d c period <clears throat> i get the answer yeah now again the same again the simple thing what what you were to understand here is that there is a linkage between b a as uh, there is a linkage between b a here but the thing that you need to understand is that b a cannot be the end these two cannot be the end because look at your main idea is making people laugh and that's the reason you will choose b first and then you don't even have to look at any other option you just have to mark c 20 to 30 seconds and you are done let's one <clears throat> wow again cat 1999 Okay take some take some time to read through and uh, we'll talk about the solutions later on okay all right so <clears throat> what is the paragraph talking about now we're going to take a little bit more time to read through this because <clears throat> the paragraph is a little lengthy so we can kind of go through this again one more time and try and understand what's happening here is so if i look at this paragraph again it's a typical pattern that cat always has which is high powered outboard motors okay the so number 1 is fixed and number 6 one is again fixed and i have to kind of find out the para symbol answer be between a b c and d so so what's happening so look at your options so you've got a a again okay and d d okay <clears throat> now look at the option elimination strategy so if i go <clears throat> with the option elimination strategy what's happening here is if i just focus on this <clears throat> the main sentence the opening line which is fixed 
high powered outboard motors were considered to be one of the major threats to survival of the beluga okay so they're talking about some motors and the major threats about one of the you know the beluga whales and all that stuff okay with these hunters with these hunters again demonstrative pronoun can this be my opening no a is gone so my option b and option c absolutely cut out so what i have i've got option a and i've got option d d for delta now let's let's look at option a so i say d is the opening absolutely yes see because <clears throat> if you look at this paragraph when the first today okay when the first outboard it's a storytelling it's kind of a storytelling now when i go with d when the first outboard engine arrived in the early 1930s one came across four hp and at hp motors so yeah so i have to go along with d d so d is by default my opening so i freeze d over here now the problem is shall i go with b later on or shall i go ahead with a later on so let's look at a with these hunters could approach perfect now what i'm trying to tell you here is is that when the when the first outboard engines arrived in early 30s i'm talking about one of the thing which is what the outboard engines of the motors okay with these comma it means a is referring to d with these hunters could approach belugas within hunting <clears throat> range so and so forth so i get the answer so d is the first a is the later on so what's the connection so do i have d a c b this is my answer this doesn't apply here period so that's how you can answer these questions very quickly you got to be a good reader you got to understand what the entire paragraph is now if you look at the, the what am i what am i doing here i'm not even reading the paragraph entirely the only thing that i'm trying to focus rather stay more focused on is the opening of this which is fixed and that's the reason if you remember my last video i told you guys that there are two patterns one is the fixed one another one 1 2 3 4 5 and i said this makes your life more easy so when you have such kind of parajimbal questions do attempt them in a same manner and you'll get the answer let's go to the next one. okay so we've got one more from cat 1999 okay this sounds little easy though okay let's try to read this and get the answer Okay, so this is going to be a little tougher because you see we have all these things in here, which is A B C D E. So we don't have any fixed sentence out here. So let me understand what's happening here. So if you just look at the celebrations of economic recovery in Washington, hold on, okay. Meanwhile, now meanwhile you don't have even have to read because this cannot be the opening statement at all. <clears throat> Washington responded to the favorable turn, okay. The celebrations and high fives up and down Pennsylvania Avenue are not found, okay. With the third quarter GDP growth. Seven point two percent. Okay, now what's happening here? <clears throat> if you look at the entire paragraph, if you if you read it uh, very well, now I see when the third quarter GDP is shown again. Again, my what's going to be my clue? Again, the clue is going to be E and E. So I believe that E has been an opening sentence. I'm going to give it a little bit more thought. So when the third quarter GDP showed growth of seven point two percent and the monthly unemployment rate dipped to six percent, euphoria gripped the U.S. capital. U.S. capital. Okay, okay. After this, I have a sentence. Where can I see Washington? I have A. I have C. Okay. Now, Washington responded. U.S. capital, definitely general. This is general. What I'm trying to do is now I'm going to be very specific. I'm going to talk about the U.S. capital as a pronoun. Yeah, sorry, as a noun, by the way. So Washington responded to the favorable turn in economic news. with enthusiasm lovely i see e then i go move to c general specific do i have the option which starts ec okay ec all right so still not solved now let's go ahead with the a a says the celebrations of economic recovery in washington may be as premature as the mission accomplished so on so forth what's happening celebrations okay enthusiasm positive positive meanwhile in the real world the struggles of families Now, I have E, I have A. Can I take B after that? I cannot because B is the middle sentence of the entire paragraph, which talks about while the U.S. is literally that the Washington is enthusiastic. 
rather i would i would reframe it that the people in washington or washington as a as a us capital is there is a lot of enthusiasm people are celebrating that so that's where the linkage is you cannot really bring meanwhile in between and that's the reason the link becomes here so i have e first then i move on to c again general specific and then positive the next positive e c a which option has e c a c c is your answer simple okay now that's how you need to understand that's how you need to read the paragraphs try and understand the main try and understand the main idea okay this is little lengthy so i'm going to give you guys a nice time to read through understand the question and then we will go ahead and discuss the answer okay so what's happening here so again um, uh, the important uh, stuff here is that one is fixed another is fixed so a is a b c d is the only thing that we are looking ahead all right so what it talks about so in the paragraph talks about the security aim for colors of film and all that stuff okay now look at the option okay look at the option look at the option there is a clear cut link between the option d and option c and where do i see that i see it here C D, D C, and D C. So I know there is something is going on between C and D. So it's a pair, okay? It's a pair. Now what we need to find out is the opening sentence here, and according to me, the opening sentence is B. B for Bombay. Why so? Because the sentence B talks about two surfaces, the oil and the water layer, which has also been mentioned in the sentence one, in the sentence one, which is here. okay hence b is opening and a cannot be the opening because it says these different surfaces these different surfaces again the demonstrative pronoun so really cannot go with this these different surfaces okay now <clears throat> b is the opening and a cannot be the opening sentence because it says these different surfaces it's using the demonstrative pronoun as i said earlier hence b is the opening and a is next to one then which is my option going to be My option is going to be B A. So, which is that option which gives me a link of B A? So, I have B as an opening here. I have B as an opening here. But B, I would, I would need A after B. So, B is going to be my answer. Simple. And then I have D C. I, I literally don't even have to bother about. It is that I just need to look at the opening B B. Option B has B as an opening. Option C, um, has B as an opening. But then I cannot have D right after B. So, B at A goes hand in hand, and that's the reason my answer is B. Cat two thousand question. simple let's move cat 1999 okay <clears throat> let's read through this and understand what is it all about okay <clears throat> now if you look at this question a uh, little bit little bit if you if you kind of read through this properly you'll understand that according to the research uh, the critical period for developing language skills language skills is between the age of 3 and 5 okay uh, the read to child already has a large vocabulary okay children who are read to in these years okay and the reason is actually quite simple okay this is something i need to focus and the reason is actually quite simple the correlation is far and away the highest yet found between home influences and school success okay bouncer didn't understand anything okay their comprehension of language is therefore very high conclusion this is my conclusion okay conclusion says their comprehension whose comprehension children okay their comprehension of language is therefore very high now if i say that the author is saying that their comprehension of language is therefore very high it means it's a conclusion now what i need to just understand what will support which is the premise or the argument that will support sentence number 6 now what makes your language comprehension very high simple your vocabulary and your grammar 
So A is going to be my ending statement. Which is the option? BDC is the option. You get the answer. So you're going to stop on A. So your link would be B D C A, and after A you have six. Where you know, where the, your author concludes that uh, the comprehension is very high. All right, simple one. 2013. Last question for the day. Um, an IFT. You know, IFT is being like one of the toughest examinal people have a uh, lot of thing about IFT. So let's try to solve this. Uh, okay, let me give you guys the heading over here. So the A. B, C, and then D. <clears throat> All right. Just read through it, and we will solve it. Okay. Now, what I'm gonna do is basically I'm gonna read through from first, second, third, and fourth. So you really can't jump on um, the sentences. You have to read sentence in a in the order, in a proper order. Now, if you look at this, he some of new. I don't even have to read after this. That's all. He some of new. Period. I don't even have to read what's 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 you know has been written over there. Why? Because this is a pronoun. Simple. You know. Okay. Pronoun can also be the opening of a sentence. But when I'm going to hit this question for an exam, I'm really not gonna have any kind of an exception. So first, my my target is my target is okay. Fine. He is the pronoun. It cannot be the opening. Okay. Next. So instead, for perhaps the first time in his life, no ways. This cannot be the opening. At first, he thought. He thought. Okay. That next morning, as the first rays of the Indian sun dance along the colorful horizon, Julian. Julian is the noun. Okay. This makes your first statement, your opening statement, which is the option, which has D as the opening, D C B A. That's your answer. Simple. And that's how we crack these questions. It it might sound a little tougher. But then that's the way your attitude should be, and that's how you should be actually solving these questions. If you're gonna think, 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 and think in para jumble, there's only one thing that will be happening at the end of the day that your thoughts are gonna get jumbled up, eventually your marks. Okay, so the humble request is that do follow all the videos by C E T King. Do follow all the video by me and Ramnit sir. And try to uh, stay tuned with C E T King. At the end of the day. mention that these are the things that we will be covering for you in the workshop so if you want to join our workshops these are the things will be covered for you and we will solve more questions from cat and cmat and mad and ct and we will actually show you how you guys can actually crack these questions within 50 to 55 seconds maximum okay and how we can kind of improve your score by 20 25 percentile I hope you guys must have enjoyed this. You have understood this. If you guys have any doubts, you need any clarification, just put in the notes. Um, send me a friend request on Kate and KG. That's my Facebook page, and do subscribe. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. You have a wonderful evening ahead. Thank you.